that's better. Hi, Mike Crow here. So, one of the things I have done recently is I completed a pie crust tilt top table out of cherry. It took up a lot of space in the shop. It used a whole bunch of tools. I had power tools, hand tools, everything. I had wood chips and sawdust all over the shop. Uh, and sometimes you need a little thing like that to challenge you, but then you need something to help you recover. And that's what I'm gonna do now. So to kind of reset everything for me in my head, I'm gonna make a small project that I can get knocked out pretty quickly. Uh, the good thing that came from that table when I cut the legs, I got a bunch of weirdly shaped blocks of cherry. And so, not being one to just throw that stuff away, I glued some of it together and made a bigger block of scrap wood. And now I will make a bandsaw box. So, if you haven't done one of those, I'll encourage you to try it. You could probably knock it out in the day. You can do it on a small uh, table or workbench. Uh, it'll amaze your friends. And uh, it's something just fun to do complete it, move on to the next thing. So that's what I've been doing a lot of smaller projects. If you haven't done one, I encourage you to do it or find something to just kind of get you back in the shop and get you happy. And if you also haven't done it, it would be a good time to subscribe or hit like because I think we'll have a little bit of fun with this one. Thanks a lot and enjoy the video. So here's what I'm gonna do. I have a couple of these. We have three of them that are kind of like that. Now, automatically, I would say, well, that looks like an old car body. But I don't want to make those cars right now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take two of them, and I'm going to glue them together and make bandsaw boxes. And then that will just leave me with the rest of this crap to figure out something to do with. Some of it will get thrown away. I think one of the keys for gluing up something like a bandsaw box is to get good glue coverage. Now, I'm going to spread this out, but I want to make sure I get glue over this whole thing. When I cut it apart, some of the spaces where the, the, I'm going to want this glue to bond are going to be very small, very thin pieces, like where the drawers meet up. And I want good glue coverage. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to clamp it up with some good strong clamps let it dry, and then start giving this thing a better shape than this. And there you go. All along the ridge where the two pieces meet, I have just enough glue squirting out, a little bit dripping onto my paper. Other than that, I clamp these up nice and tight. Hopefully this will be just what I need. So here's the blank I have for my bandsaw boxes. Now, as you can see, this is a peculiar shape, but it's okay for this. Uh, what I want to make sure is that there's a, a relatively flat surface that this thing can ride on when it's going through the bandsaw, because I will cut a little bit off the front and a little bit off the back, and that lets me, you know, cut the drawers into, into place. You slice the bottom off, and that lets me get access. I will explain that in the video. But it's time to lay this thing out, and then I'll start cutting something so I can get this glued up and get the drawers out of there. Okay, to get started, I've already changed the blade to a half-inch blade. And let me tell you, that's sharp. So I use gloves to put that on because I've cut myself a few places. Um, but anyway, start by cutting the back off of the blank. Now the next thing is to cut the bottom off. So cut a small bit out of there, and then that will let me cut these uh, pieces off of here. And that will free up the drawers, and then we'll go from there. Really not such a bad cut with a nice sharp blade like that. It'll work. So here's what I came up with. So these will be drawers. And while the piece is still intact, I have to cut this off and then I'll later cut the fronts off the drawers. Uh, this part here will be retained. All of this will be retained. But what I have to do is cut this line, which enables me to get to that drawer. 
and then it all gets glued back up at the end and hopefully works. So I have the saw set to cut this line now and so that's what I'm going to do. Here comes some more. This is going to be one tiny little drawer, but to do this bandsaw box, you cut the front off, you cut the back off, then you hollow out the middle and you glue it all back together. So that's what I'm doing now. This piece is crazy small and it's not stable, so I, I clamped it into one of these clamps. I don't have the, uh, the the wooden clamps, but I'm just going to go careful. Here's the main uh, housing of the bandsaw box where the drawers go in there. I'd say I have just enough clamps. So here's the blank for the bandsaw box and uh, there's no real formula for this. Most of the time when you see these they're uh, oddly shaped anyway. Uh, I am going to cut up here and just kind of leave a little bit of material and just see where the bandsaw takes me. So uh, my bandsaw is also loud. Sorry about that. So now that this is cut out, it still needs some smoothing and yeah, there's some dips and wiggles in there. Uh, I'm going to start on the disc sander and I'll get some of the, the main shape uh, rounded over. I might have to either follow it up by hand or use a drum sander, but this will get me going. And there you have it, ready for finish. Just glued on these little nubs of uh, cherry as handles. But as you can see, very small drawers, but some kid will love it. Maybe one of my own grandkids, I don't know. Anyway, there you go. Getting ready to paint the insides of the drawers. I'm gonna use some acrylic paint. You know, standard crap stuff. I'll come up with a color and I'm probably going to just try for a dark green and then I'll clear it. Ooh. Here's a color I came up with for my own here. So it's going to be a dark shade of green with some new shamrock green acrylic paint. And a little touch of hot rod red. And some happy little bag. Mix it all together. Beautiful shade of green. And so, here's the shade of green. So, 
once that dries it'll be a nice color I think it's good enough and uh, let's go ahead and do the rest of it now I've taped this up but what I found is the paint actually leaks under this tape it's the acrylic I guess that's no big deal I haven't put the clear on it yet so if I get a little bit on the edge it'll sand off pretty easily just trying to do is get everything covered so that I don't have to mix more paint and probably screw up the color so and you can see they're not super smooth inside and I'm okay with that if I was doing a, a fancier box uh, I would probably laminate and use different wood but since this was a scrap wood challenge uh, I'm kind of just getting it done and so these little things like this will give character to the box. I'm happy to say that with some careful measuring and some wild ass guessing, I came up with the exact right amount of paint. So there you have it. A simple little bandsaw box. Or tiny little things. Um, first time doing it, I'll get some flocking if I keep doing this next time. Uh, just so it makes that a little bit more, a little more nicer. Um, but got my brand on the bottom, and a little bit of a foamy thing on the bottom of the, the overall piece. Done. Ready to give to somebody.